How's it going everybody? So I want to show you guys what I consider to be one of the most innovative smokes I've seen in a very long time on CS2 Nuke. Imperial ended up throwing this against Pain in the America's RMR, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys how it looked when they used it, and how you could use it in your own games as well. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. So, Skins Monkey is an automated CS2 trading site that provides an instant way for you to get new skins. All you have to do is select your old skins that you don't want anymore and then pick out some fresh ones to trade for. It's as easy as that. And right now you could get a free $5 if you use code TACTICS on the site. And finally, you could get up to a 35% deposit bonus when using my code. So thanks again to Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. Links in the description. So Vinny starts us off by shooting out the glass with the help of his teammates. He then climbs up the ladder and gets in position for the lineup. So he aims his crosshair right at this little orange band on the railing here and then looks up and lines up with this reflection in the window. Don't worry, there's a much easier version of this lineup that I found that I'm gonna show you how to do here in just a moment. But right as Vinny has that smoke thrown through the window, Phelps is gonna throw a nice little smoke to help them exit out towards the back of a site. Notice how it's effectively split the site defense in half. And of course, right after Vinny's done throwing that smoke, he's gonna go over here and throw the top hut Molotov to further obstruct the CTs. And right as Vinny goes down to join the rush, Hinny is going to be set up in the back, throwing a couple of flashbangs to help his team get onto site. Even though this ended up being a very scrappy round, looking at it from the CT perspective, you can see why it definitely made them uncomfortable. Even though Payne had a double dual Beretta A site set up on pistol round, Imperial were able to get out there and have man advantages in every single one of those fights thanks to their utility. So now let's go ahead and break all this utility down, paying special attention to the smoke that Vinny threw that lands on the far side of this silo right here. So what this is effectively going to do is it's going to spill all the way down to the floor, completely blocking that line of sight, but also it's kind of tall to where anyone up in heaven, well, if they want to help their teammates out as they're getting shot from hut, well, it's very difficult for them to get an angle into trade. They're going to have to go all the way out to here um, to get a nice angle on anyone running out. When that's paired with the smoke that lands here, it's a very potent setup for a pistol round. So to throw that smoke, essentially, you just want to make sure you have this window broken out. And then what Vinny does, he goes up onto this railing. He's going to crouch and find this nice orange band right here. Just go right in the middle of that. It's not too precise. Just make sure you're towards the middle of it. And while you're crouched, you're going to go up and find the top of this building right here in the reflection and kind of in the middle of it here, maybe on the right side of this yellow line, you just do a right click jump there. Again, not too precise, not too hard to line up. And it's going to go all the way over here and spread all the way down. The one thing that I don't like about this is it takes a little while to get situated here onto this position. And the other downside to it is the fact that a lot of people don't play with the reflections on. And so in the settings, if you end up having shader detail set to medium or low, I guess, um, you can't see anything to line up with. Fortunately, MacMate on Twitter, who's one of the broadcast talents for CS2, found an alternative lineup. You go to that same spot as Vinny before, but you stand up and then use the tip of your smoke grenade as a view model lineup to position it somewhere right around here. It's very loose, but you're just going to put it right here. You are going to need the default view model for this, but then you just do a right click jump through and it's going to go straight through here and land on the right side doing essentially the same thing. It doesn't go quite as far, so sometimes there's a little gap on the side before it spreads, so keep that in mind. While I absolutely love this new smoke from Vinny, I'm definitely not a fan of how much it takes to line up. I don't like having to go onto a very specific spot on the railing and then either use the default view model for a lineup or just into a reflection. So I actually found a better way to do it, especially right off the of spawn if you're going for a faster paced play. You can just run right here into this corner on this box truck and from the bottom left of this bracket, just go a little bit to the left and do a simple jump throw. And that's going to go all the way up here, break through the glass and land on the far silo as easy as that. As you can see, it's going to land right here. And I actually have not managed to miss this yet. It's very loose and very forgiving. And as you can see, it has the exact same effect. So it's a really good one to throw, especially, like I said, if you're going for a faster paced round. So I'll go ahead and show you the smoke one more time just to show how fast it actually is to line up, but I'm not taking my time for demonstration purposes. As you can see, I've already got this thing in the air, and if you time it right, you can run all the way through the lobby, get into hut, and be ready to push out with your team as a part of the hit. Another thing to keep in mind, the fact that they've adjusted the spawns for the CTs to where they get here a lot sooner, so the terrorists can't take advantage of those early A round rushes. So having a nice smoke to help out with a quicker, faster paced A hit is definitely a huge benefit. So the second smoke thrown by Imperial here was thrown by Phelps towards the top left of this elbow in the wires, and he just did a couple of steps with a run and then released. And that ends up landing on top of this track, allowing his players to come out of this gap and work their way around with the help of the second smoke up top. And of course, right after those two smokes are thrown, 
Vinny then goes right to this corner and he just jumps up onto the very edge of this little metal cover. And he's gonna aim in the bottom right of this triangle and just do a few steps and release. And that molly is gonna pop all the way back here and land on top of Hut, fully mollying it off. This one has absolutely no gaps. This is the most consistent and easy one that I've found. Um, I usually struggle with the other ones that I've shown. Um, I just have had a hard time getting them consistent. This one is definitely the best by far. And of course, as they're about to push out, Henny goes into this position right here. He lines up with this bolt in the bottom left of this little ventilation thing. And he just goes down from this line all the way down past this line and into the middle of this white stripe right here and does a simple jump through with a flash. He ends up throwing two of these. But so what these do is they go in, bank off of this back wall, and they pop right about here in this position, right? So what makes these so good is the fact that not only is it gonna blind anyone up here in heaven pretty heavily, right? It's also gonna catch anyone holding this angle without hardly any time to react. And it's also gonna get anyone over here in this corner. So whether you like throwing the grenade like this, or if you like to come right off of spawn and throw it like this, I hope you've definitely learned something new in this video, and all of this utility combines to help you out in your next CS2 nuke game. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments below because I love making videos that you guys want to see.